All I have to say is thank you, Tyler. Thank you very, very much. Hello, Techno Freaks. Techno Odin here, and today I, I get to finally all. talk about none other than yeah, right Green on. Arrow. That's right, the Emerald Archer has been shown some love, finally. Now, it wasn't a full character breakdown. Those were saved for Firestorm, Gorilla Grodd, and Scarecrow. Scarecrow is one I really want to talk about, but I'll do that in another video. Today is Green Arrow Day. So, before we get into that, I just want to say props to Tyler. Big, big props to him for actually picking Green Arrow. He wasn't great. He was good. He wasn't great. But he's shown enough, and that's all that matters. He gave me enough. So, okay, first things first. Green Arrow plays the same as he did in Injustice 1. Now, I said that about Bane, but... This one applies a lot more. Near enough, every string and every special is the same. His trait is exactly the same, the three arrows. It's now is four arrows, though, because you can now meet a burn, which we know from the Captain Cold trailer. But let's, let's just stick to what we know. So, all of his strings are the same. All of his special moves, barring one, are the same and pretty much that one is still the same but there's something added to it and that's what I see with Green Arrow unlike Bane where he had moves reworked it seems they've just added things onto Green Arrow's arsenal which is only good because now everyone who played Injustice 1 can still play Green Arrow completely but get more new toys first let's talk about his arrows so we'll start with the ice arrow the Ice Arrow has changed drastically compared to what it originally was. In the first one, when you shot... If you hit someone in mid-air with the Ice Arrow, they would be sent back into a standing still animation. Now, if you hit them with the Ice Arrow, they are frozen in mid-air. Similar to how Sub-Zero's Ice Ball works. This drastically changes green arrow quite a bit yeah you can still hit back threes and still do a lot of your original setups but it does eliminate a lot of tech especially green arrows reset but so does the start up to green arrows new super which unfortunately we didn't get to see because derek blocked it which in fairness because it's an actual fight derek should have blocked it so good on derek but Damn you, Derek. <laughs> Outside of that, nothing much different with the Ice Arrow. So we'll move on to the Electric Arrow. Now the Electric Arrow plays more or less the same as well, though I do feel like the stun is a bit longer. I can't be too sure, but it did feel like the stun was a little bit longer than it originally was in the first one. So it could give you a bit more potential for, say, hitting the normal a casual string hitting an electric arrow going into a dash hitting another string hitting another electric arrow going into a dash get some hits maybe meet a burn into a um, back three and continue on set up ice arrow you know simple green arrow stuff fire arrow we didn't get to see don't know why Tyler just never activated it as he didn't do with the <laughs> boxing glove arrow which, again, don't know why. I'm guessing they're probably holding that off for the actual character breakdown, so I won't, I won't give them too much stick for it because they didn't have to show us anything. Anyway, let's talk a bit more about some of the things that are different. So, the throw. First things first, we gotta talk about this throw. Right. That throw is awesome. No, I mean seriously, that is one of the sickest throws I have seen in this game currently. Admittedly, it's very overkill, and I wonder if that kind of plays into this green arrow. As we know, this green arrow is from Earth 3. Meaning, potentially, this green arrow may still be a killer. We don't know what this ollie does. If this ollie is a killer, that would make sense for why he did this throw throw is different also props to the um the round winning animation 
which is basically a nod to his grand finale, um, which was his victory pose in the first one. I suppose you could call it a grand intermission. No. Anyway, outside of that, um, there was very little to go with after that. Um, the one thing that was really interesting and I, I do need to talk about was Hurricane Bow. And this was the big, big addition. Now you can meter burn it, which was so obviously something you couldn't do in the first one. The Hurricane Bow was your biggest combo ender, outside of switching into an arrow. If you were going for full damage, Hurricane Bow was your combo ender. Now it can be a combo starter. That's right, if you meter burn Hurricane Bow, you will do a backflip kick that pops them up. Unfortunately, Tyler missed the combo. Damn you, Tyler. But at the same time, it gave me a lot of potential. Like I can I can see maybe doing Hurricane Bow, just maybe a YOLO Hurricane Bow, or maybe a high-low into a Hurricane Bow, me to burn it, maybe do a down too, or just see if you can hit his triple one strike. If you've already got your ice arrow, you can do a lot of things with that, and that's a lot of tech. That is a lot of potential. I noticed his 223 string may have changed, or they may have added a new string to it. Instead of doing a slice to the stomach, which is probably because, thinking about that, probably because they don't have the knife on Green Arrow's bow anymore. So I'm thinking they've changed the 223 string to incorporate a sort of uppercut with the bow as he no longer uses the knife. So it's no longer like a, a hard knockdown. Hopefully you can still cancel that into your ice arrows or into your arrow setups because that was his main way of doing things. But also that adds something as well because the 223 in certain situations sometimes missed and you would drop your combo and not be able to go into an arrow. Hopefully this gives the character a bit more consistency because unfortunately that was the main thing he did lack was consistency. Even now I am a little bit worried about his corner game when it comes to female characters. Certain female characters hitboxes were so small that one of his main setups never worked so it just completely eliminated his corner game when up against them. So here's hoping that's been altered and we get a bit more consistency with that. Outside of that there is really nothing much I can actually go on. Tyler couldn't show much off and again we're just, it was just a nice thing to do. Hopefully they do a character breakdown with Green Lantern. Maybe call it something cheesy like Green Day? No. Maybe I'll then I'll have a bit more to work on. But until then guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell thingy, go to Comic Reviews and Axe, hit the bell thingy, check out some videos. Here they are. Bang, there you go. Alright guys, till then, this has been Techno Odin. Take care.